Joining me now is Kimberly Leonard. She's a senior healthcare reporter for Business Insider. So, Kimberly, uh, coronavirus relief top of mind for the Biden administration. This, as we are now reporting, 400,000 U.S. deaths. Some are saying that Biden's plan is pretty ambitious. Do you think he will get enough support, both from Congress and the American people? Well, there are certain parts of his plan that will definitely get support. Um, there probably will be another round of direct checks, for example, but Republicans are sort of balking at the amount. Um, they'll want to provide more money to first states to be able to administer this vaccine plan. He's asked for $20 billion to do that. Uh, he's asked for money to help reopen schools, which has a lot of support across the aisle. And um, perhaps if he can get that number down a little bit closer to $1 trillion, then he might be able to get bipartisan support. Uh, but Congress still has the option of using reconciliation in order to get some of these policies across the finish line. I want to get into those numbers in just a moment, but I want to ask you about U.S. vaccinations. They have been very slow, I think slower than people anticipated. And um, already before he enters office, Biden is already seeing so many challenges uh, with states trying to vaccinate their populations. Do you think he'll make his goal of 100 million vaccines in his first 100 days? Dr. Fauci says yes, but uh, what are you hearing? Well, it, you know, it sounds ambitious, but the thing is that right now at the pace that we're going, and you're right, it was slow, but it is accelerating. And at the pace that we're headed, it does look like we can do a million vaccinations a day. Now, it won't be easy to get everyone vaccinated that we need vaccinating. Um, for example, there are people who are hesitant. Uh, there are some states that have been overly restrictive in who can get vaccinated. But the Biden team does have the advantage of being able to see how things have gone so far, know what needs to change, and really be able to influence the rollout from here on out. So what do you think Joe Biden needs to accomplish and his administration in the immediate days ahead to get some of these uh, big wins in his first 100 days? What are you seeing in your reporting? Well, first of all, it's going to be getting that seamless handoff, or at least as seamless as they can get it, um, because it's going to be hard probably to get all the information that they need from the Trump administration. Um, they said they weren't communicating all that well starting out. And so passing that information over is going to be difficult. Um, one of the things they can really lean on are these career scientists and career officials who can sort of continue the work that they've been doing. And, you know, hopefully they can lean on them to really be able to continue to move the vaccine program along so that they can reach that $100 million million vaccination goal. All right. Kimberly Leonard with uh, Business Insider, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.